Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up 14 Pokemon TCG Booster Packs. Now this is another variety booster pack opening that I'm doing on my channel. These packs I obtained from sealed Pokemon TCG products that I bought mainly from the GameStop clearance sale. So of these 14 packs, there are two each of Shining Legends, Guardians Rising, Steam Siege, Fates Collide, Evolutions, and Sun and Moon Base Set, and then one each of Burning Shadows and Crimson Invasion. I didn't include any Ultra Prism Booster Packs in this opening, just because I've done so many larger Ultra Prism Booster Pack openings recently. So I'll set the camera down and get to opening these variety of booster packs. So the first pack I'll open up here would be Shining Legends. I'll just open up these in a random order. I am a huge fan of the Shining Legends set. It includes the six Shining Pokemon as well as Zoroark GX, a staple in a lot of competitive decks right now. Four and two is a card trick. And the very first pack starts with a Shroomish, Totodile, Bulbasaur, Pikachu, Stunfisk, Fairy Type Energy, Great Ball, Scrafty, Damage Mover, Reverse Solo of a Carnivine, which is an uncommon, and the final card here would be a Shaman, which is a Rare Holo. It is important to remember in this set you are guaranteed at the very least a Rare Holo in each and every pack. Guardians Rising is next, probably the best and most competitive set in the TCG, at least in the 2018 standard format. This pack starts with Jang Moo, Wishy Washy, Delibird, Mudbray, Slowpoke, Metal Type Energy, Machoke, Max Potion, Tentacruel, Reverse Solo of an Enhanced Hammer, an excellent item card, this is an uncommon. And the final card here would be an Enhanced Hammer, and that is a Secret Rare. What a great way to end this pack. Wow, what a beautiful looking card. Love the gold colored trainer cards that are Secret Rares like that. The card allows you to discard a special energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon. Steam Siege pack now, Mega Gardevoir in the cover artwork. I would love to pull out Volcanion EX or the Little Volcanion. The rare non hollow. You can also get Professor Sycamore in this set. Chimchar to start the pack. Yanma. Mareep. Mantine. Meowth. Persian. Claw Fossil Anorith. Reverse hollow after the skip bloom would be a Clauncher, just a common. And the rare here would be a Spirit Tomb. The one and only Burning Shadows pack now, Marshadow on the cover artwork. I am on the hunt for the Charizard GX Rainbow Rare from a pack. Charizard, of course, my favorite Pokemon of all time. The pack starts with a Panpour, Porygon, Alolan Rattata, Charmander, Panseer, Metal Type Energy, Whirlipede, Wobbuffet, Electric, Reverse Solo would be a Simapore, which is an uncommon, and the rare here would be a GX Rainbow Rare in a Lycanroc. So close to the Charizard I was hoping for, but I'll take a GX Rainbow Rare any day. So Lycanroc GX, set that aside. Pretty amazing pulls out of this opening so far, two secret rares. Now that is the chance to take buying sealed products like I did for this video and pulling packs from those sealed products. You're really not guaranteed anything, but you could get, like in this video, well above average pulls. So a good set for the competitive TCG is next. Fates Collide, especially if you're building a fighting type deck. Regirock EX is in this set. It increases your fighting type Pokemon's attacks by 10. Diancy, Prism Star from Forbidden Light will do the same thing. Carbing to start the pack. This is a useful card. Its ability very good. Burmy. Bronzor. Binacle. Snubble. Fairy Garden. Shuckle. Sinchino. Reverse Solo of a Pupitar, which is an uncommon. And the rare here would be a Rotom. Of course, Ultra Prism. Several different Rotom cards in that set. Evolutions is next. And this is one of my favorite XY series sets. 
as a collector, I really love this set. It is a base set reprint set. For the competitive TCG, not very good. I think Mewtwo is probably the most used card from this set. Magnemite to start the pack. Seal. Charmander would love to pull a Charizard Rare Reverse Solo. Diglett. Drowsy. Magmar. Devolution Spray, useful to use with Raichu and Pikachu. Pokedex. Reverse Solo. There we go, a break pull. This time a Nidoking. And then the final card in the pack would be a Starmie. This is another good card for the TCG. Its ability, very good. I use it in my Volcanion EX deck. Sun and Moon base set pack now. Sogolay on the cover artwork. Here's a look at the code. White colored code card. The pack starts with a Zubat. Poplio. Stuffle. Wingle. Dratini, Darkness Type Energy, Corsola, Ultra Ball, Pelipper, Reverse Solo of a Young Goose, just a common, and the rare here would be a Rabombi, and that is a rare hollow. Set that one aside. Really do have some good cards to summarize at the end of this opening. Right about halfway through the opening overall. Go to the second Sun and Moon base set pack now. Green colored code card this time. Firo to start this pack. Snubble. Sandile. Piggy Peck. Carvana. Water type energy. Charger Bug. Rainbow energy. Crocorock. Reverse Hollow of a Trumbeak, which is an uncommon. And the rare here would be a Lantern. Second and final evolutions pack now. Mega Charizard Y was on the cover artwork. Growlithe to start the pack. Nidoran. Vulpix. Sandshrew. Ponyta. Super Potion. Charmeleon. Venusaur Spirit Link. Reverse Hollow of a Diglett, just a common. And the rare here would be a Farfetch'd. Like I mentioned, I do like the Evolution set as a collector. There were some negatives with the Evolution set. I would say the biggest negative would be that Blastoise, Alakazam, and Venusaur did not receive rare holo cards in the set. And I'm not really a fan of the rare non holo cards in this set. A lot of cards that were even common rarity-wise in base set are rare non holos in this set. Fates Collide pack now. Delphox Break on the cover artwork. Wismer to start the pack. Minchino. Riolu. Binacle. Solosis. Ultra Ball. Kabuto. Kangaskhan. Reverse Solo of a Fairy Drop. That is an uncommon. And the rare here would be a Delphox. Good looking rare holo card there. The one and only Crimson Invasion booster pack now. Buzzwool on the cover artwork. Buzzwool GX from this set is easily the best card in the set. Overall, Crimson Invasion was a little bit disappointing. Shellos to start the pack. Bunnelby. Magikarp. Chimico. Pikachu. Darkness type Energy. Piloswine. Diggersby. Hakamoo. Reverse Solo of a Zwilus, which is an uncommon. And the rare here would be a camera opt. Three packs left to go. Looks like Guardians Rising, Shining Legends, and then Steam Siege. Xerneas Break on the cover artwork of this pack. It is a green colored code card, but could pull out a break card in the pack. Seedot to start. Clink. Mareep. Bergmite. Fungus. Klefki. Lampant. Gardevoir Spirit Link, Reverse Solo of a Litwick, just a common, and the rare here would be a Clawitzer. So the second Guardians Rising pack now, Lycanroc on the cover artwork, did very good in the first Guardians Rising pack. Wishiwashi to start this pack. Jangmoo, Wimpod, Machop doing the dab there. Whalmer, Water Type Energy. Matang, Komala, Energy Lodo, 
reverse hollow of a Whimsicott, which isn't uncommon, and the final card in the pack would be a Talon Flame. So the final pack here in this 14 booster pack opening, Shiny Rayquaza on the cover artwork of the Shining Legends booster pack, a white colored code card, you are guaranteed a rare hollow in this pack at the very least, and the final pack starts with a Pikachu, Ekans, Zorua, Buizel, Plusle, Fighting Type Energy, Pokemon Breeder, Electrode, Great Ball, Reverse Solo of a Totodile, that is a common, and the rare here would be a Palkia, which is a rare holo. So I can summarize my pulls now, excluding the two rare holos from Shining Legends. Overall, pretty amazing pulls. I pull out two rare holo in Delphox and Rabombi, one break card in Nidoking, and these are beautiful looking cards, not worth much though, and then two secret rares. Lycanroc GX from Burning Shadows, and then Enhanced Hammer from the Guardians Rising set. Lycanroc, of course, a GX Rainbow Rare. This a Secret Rare Trainer. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.